Hey guys, Moan Pobera here, and this video is all about the three pillars in order to buy a business. So welcome back to another video. This channel, if you're not familiar with yet, is all about how to buy and grow existing profitable, ideally profitable businesses. I believe that it's much, much better than starting a business from scratch. I actually can show you that it's actually going to cost you the same, if not little than what it will cost you to start a business from scratch and the risks to start a business are just so much higher. And I'm here to also show you that if you have existing business, your best way to grow isn't by doing more sales and marketing and finding joint ventures and all that, but is to actually go and buy a similar business to yours or a complementary business to yours. That's what the biggest companies out there are doing in order to meet their shareholders' demands. And that's why I'm going to show you how to do with small businesses. Um, the, the, the ideal businesses that we're looking to are usually small businesses doing between one to 10 or 20 million year in sales. And this is what this channel is all about. So this video is about three pillars to buy a business. Let's start with them. So the first pillar is price. Obviously, you need to go out there, talk to business owners, get financials, all that. But the first thing you want to realize and I guess get from the conversations or, or with your interaction with business owners or brokers is what's the price. You obviously need to build a pipeline, have a pipeline of deal flow, put yourself out there, talk to as many businesses as you can and have some kind of a system to screen through and filter through ideally uh, motivated business owners and figure out the price. So that's the first thing, a price. Now, I'm here to tell you the price is just the first step. So obviously you need to know what's the overall price you'll pay for the business, but don't be really, really focused on that. Most people think that if someone is telling them they need to pay $1 million for a business, that they need to bring $1 million uh, from their cash many times, from their own capital to pay for that business. So don't be too focused on that, but obviously you need to know the overall price, how much you need to pay overall for that business. So the second pillar is the down payment. And that's why the overall price isn't that important. The down payment on a business is much more important number that you need to know. Um, most people out there, first of all, they don't know it's even possible to buy a business. But the second thing is they don't know that you can negotiate seller financing or earn outs or notes or whatever the structure is on the deferred payment. But overall, you don't need to pay the total price at completion, at closing you only need to come up with a percentage of the total price and pay that at closing. And there are many, many ways to finance those deals. But remember that the second pillar is the down payment. That's probably one of the most important thing you need to focus on when talking to business owners. The third pillar is debt. And probably most of the deals that you'll do, obviously depends on the type of business and all that, you'll have some kind of debt in the business. You need to know how much you can raise and how much debt you can take on the business. You need to know the right ratios between the debt and the cash flow that you have in the business to pay to that debt. Most deals out there, you'll probably have some debt. You'll probably use the assets as a leverage to get that debt. Um, so debt or debt, whatever. Yeah, right. Uh, however you say it, but that's definitely one of the most important pillars in buying businesses. You need to have some kind of debt in the business and know the right ratios so the business will actually survive and continue to trade and you won't need to shut it down. And let me give you a bonus pillar. The bonus pillar is cash. So cash is all about how much cash I need to put and what my returns are on that cash. Or if I'm bringing in investors money, what their returns that they need to expect. Um, it's similar to cap rate in real estate, if you're familiar with it, but it's really, really important, uh, I guess, part of the deal. You won't need to bring your personal cash or even investor cash, cash in all of those deals. Obviously, the better the business, then most likely you need that cash as the equity part or as the equity kick or injection into that deal. You need to know how to calculate the returns on that cash so you are able to go and pitch that deal to investors. And I guess another thing is just many deals won't have a cash involvement in that because the debt that you raised sometimes can just be enough to pay for the down payment. And then the rest of the deal can be paid over a period of time using the business cash. I mean, heck, you can find deals that you don't need to pay anything for the deal and you just need to pay one dollar down to get the business just for the formality. And those are out there as well. Those are usually distressed businesses. So the business owner will give you the business in order to try and turn it around. And don't be afraid of those deals. I mean, obviously, it depends on your experience. But many times you can find million dollar businesses and, and literally get them for free. And if you turn them around, you can have a very nice, profitable business 
that you had no risk. And the beauty with those businesses, distressed businesses, is that you need to do no due diligence. I mean, you have no risk. You take the company and there's literally nothing to lose. I mean, if you turn it around, awesome. If not, I mean, at least you did your best. So yeah, those are the four, four pillars. Uh, remember, it's all about the total price you pay. It's all about the down payment that you need to pay at closing. It's on the debt that you raised in order to buy that business and it's about the cash you need to inject if you're missing capital from the debt um, obviously many times you'll need to bring some of your own capital some of the investors capital if you want me to invest in your deals and potentially be your partner see the description below there's a way to talk to me one-on-one -on -one. and based on those conversations we can decide if we can potentially be partners obviously i need to get to know you I'm, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna partner with any person. There's gotta be the right vibe and experience and, and just, uh, I guess it's just the same attitude. I think for me, the most important with my partners is just the, the vibe that I have with them. If it's a person that I'd like to hang out with, if it is, then awesome, check it below. Um, join our group on Facebook. It's a free business buying mastermind group and fill the survey below and give me ideas for videos. Literally just put your details and give me ideas on, I guess, what videos you want me to talk about and I'll create personalized videos for you. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this short video. Like the video, help me grow the channel, subscribe if you didn't yet, comment below. All those things really help me with the channel. We're growing slowly but surely. Um, I hope you enjoy the content and um, yeah, I'll see you soon.